Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so I'm Delaney for anyone that's new here and if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so so you can catch all of my future videos. Today's video is going to be a style video and I'm going to be sharing how I style crop tops and I will start off by saying I know crop tops are not for everyone so hopefully if you're not into crop tops you didn't even think to click on this video because it says it's about crop tops but for me personally they're one of my favorite things to style I know that some people like to dress a little more modest and that's totally cool for me I just really like crop tops and I feel like they're flattering for my body type so I end up styling them a lot so I wanted to do a video on it and I will also say that I actually wear crop tops pretty much year round. I live in Southern California, so I obviously don't live in the tundra or something where it's freezing, but I have worn crop tops in the snow and everything just with styling and layering. I think it can be done. That being said, I am posting this video in the summer and obviously I wear a lot of crop tops in the summer, but it's kind of a year round styling video and I'm gonna be sharing looks from all different seasons that I would wear. So keep that in mind before you're like, oh my god, why would you wear a coat in the summer? I know it's summer right now, but these are not just summer outfits for me. That's pretty much all I have to say to preface this video. And other than that, we're just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna share how I style crop tops. First way I'm gonna share is just comfy loungewear. This is such a go-to look for me. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I'm pretty passionate about sweats as I feel like everyone is. So one of the ways that I love wearing crop tops is just with a nice pair of sweats or sweat shorts or anything just super comfy and loungy. And pretty much any kind of crop top works for that. It could be a tank top, it can be a graphic tee, or just like a little white cropped tee, that's what I have here today. Just because I feel like that's a really easy go-to with the lounge bottoms. And for that, I love wearing that for literally just doing anything, running errands, traveling, lounging around the house, and it's super easy to style with just like a baseball cap maybe, and some sneakers, something just really simple. And that is my first crop top styling. The second way I'm gonna show you guys how to style crop tops is with a little graphic tee. So I actually love graphic tee crop tops, but I don't have that many of them. I don't know if they're just not as popular or I've just been shopping in the wrong places, but something that's obviously really easy to do is take a graphic tee yourself and just crop it, given you don't wanna like completely cut out all of the graphic. But if you can do that, if the graphic is big enough or high enough, I think that's a really good solution if you can't find them online. Because like I said, I feel like I don't see that many graphic tee crop tops. So the way that I chose to style this one today is just with a pair of high-waisted, baggy, straight leg denim. This, I would say, is a little dressed up for the graphic tee crop top, but obviously it's a very versatile piece. And again, you could style it with sweats, you could style it with shorts, biker shorts, so many things. So I thought it was just a little fun to dress it up in this one. And then I just paired it with some booties because I'm kind of more of a booties girl than a heels girl for dressing up and good to go. Okay, the next way I'm to show you guys is with baggy jeans and again a little bit dressed up. I actually love styling crop tops with loose baggy jeans because I feel like the proportions are really nice when you style it this way because it's kind of like big and oversized on the bottom and then you can have just this like undersized smaller thing on top and I really like the way that looks out from or I really like the way that works out from a fashion perspective and for this one I have this pair of like low rise baggy jeans which is very nice. 90s and then just a little mock neck ruched crop top so it's kind of adjustable which is really nice and then again this is good for dressing up these jeans that I have are super long so I paired them with heels and then if you want to dress it up just a little bit more throwing on a oversized blazer or a cropped blazer like the one I have here I feel like is the perfect touch for this and it just brings the outfit all together and with styling the crop tops you can obviously wear something full length over it as a layer or style it with another cropped piece 
piece like this blazer. So that is a super fun and easy way to style crop top. And it's a little more dressed up, good for going out or something like that. And then another way I'm gonna show you guys is another athleisure sort of lounge look. And that is with biker shorts this time. And for the sweats look, I wanted to pair it with a short sleeve or a tank top because I feel like that kind of balances out with the top and the bottom. And so for the biker shorts, I wanted to do a long sleeve crop top because again, I, I kind of like balancing it out that way. And I actually love long sleeve crop tops as well. So the little like sweaters or crew necks that are chopped into a little crop, I think is so cute. And this is really comfy, easy look to throw on as well. Good for running errands, traveling, anything like that, but you still want to be like a little cute and trendy. So for this one, I paired it with sneakers and a baseball cap again, because that's kind of just like my go-to easy. A bug just flew by. I wonder if you guys saw that on the camera. It's pretty big. Just super easy go-to look and it's flying back. I freaked out. There's a mosquito hawk, so. Those are nice, but they're, they're big and it freaks me out. The next way I'm gonna show you guys is with a skirt and a sweater crop top. So I love this look because I feel like it's very transitional. And as I was mentioning, I like to wear crop tops pretty much year round. So this is a good example of an early fall, maybe spring outfit because the crop top is on the warmer side, it's a sweater. And then you have a skirt, which is more on the springy, summery side, and it's better for hot weather. I think that this goes really well together. I think it's a nice balance and it's super cute and easy to style. I just throw it on with some sneakers or some boots. Here I chose boots. If you're a heel scroll, that would be cute with this as well. And I just think it's a cute and fun way to style a crop top and just not getting in the idea that it has to be a summery crop top or it has to be like a super summery outfit to wear crop tops. This is a good example of how you can transition them into other seasons. The next way I'm gonna share with you guys is a girly, more feminine style, which if you follow me, you probably know that's not my like go-to style, but I do like to sprinkle it in here and there. So for this one, I'm using a floral, like puff sleeve romantic crop top, which I think is honestly so cute. And I'm definitely down for that kind of shirt once in a while. So that in itself, I think is such a cute piece. And then to pair it, I actually wanted to keep it girly throughout the outfit. So I'm gonna style this one with a skirt as well and I'm gonna make it really girly and wear yield sandals so I think that this is a perfect spring or summer outfit it's a really easy obvious way to style a crop top it's like really feminine not edgy at all and I think that it's so cute it's perfect for a brunch maybe a little party something like that and another way I like to style crop tops is actually with slacks so I think that this is a really good way to dress them up again obviously I am not recommending to wear crop tops to your place of work or something really serious or professional because they are quite a fun, more revealing fashion item. So I think that this is a good way to dress up for again, like a party or some sort of event that's just with friends or something that's very laid back in terms of fashion and you're not trying to be like super professional or anything like that. So for that, I like to do a little bit more refined of a crop top. So this one is again, kind of romantic. It's got these like long sleeves that are sort of puffy and it's got this like really pretty feminine print on it and I feel like it's just a more regal form of a crop top. Then when you just pair it with a nice pair of high-waisted slacks, I feel like it's a very seamless polished outfit, but it's not like too stuffy or serious because like I said, a crop top to me is interpreted as sort of like a fun, daring piece of fashion. So this kind of like spruces up your chic dressed up outfit without being too over the top or too stuffy. And then for that one, I think it also kind of ties in to make it like all chic and polished to wear a clutch with it. I think clutches are just such a nice piece for a look like this. And then a simple pair of heels and you're good to go. Like go crush it at that cute girls brunch or party or whatever you have to go to. I mean, nobody can go to anything right now because it's Corona, but you know. All right, and then the next one is, as I mentioned, a winter look. So I have no idea where you guys live or what is appropriate to you or what sounds crazy to you. So if this is completely off the table for you, that's totally fine. But for me in the past, when I have been in cold places, I will style a crop top like this. So a pair of high-waisted faux leather leggings is a must for me in the colder months. They are so easy to style, so comfortable, and they actually keep you really warm. And then I like to just throw on sort of a 
loose fitting cropped sweater of some sort i really like this one because it has like a little turtleneck effect so that keeps you more warm and it's totally weather appropriate like trend wise not with the crop top part but with the turtleneck part and then you just layer a big coat over that and for me I'm good to go. Like where I've been in the cold, that's been fine. Like I said, if you want to be styling a crop top in the winter, this is a way to do it. If you think that's the craziest thing ever, that's fine with me too. <laughs> And then for that, it's also really easy to just throw on a pair of boots with that. I like a sort of not dressed up boot for that just because if I am gonna be somewhere in the cold, I feel like I'm gonna be walking a lot for some reason or I'm gonna be in some crazy terrain like snow or something and I don't wanna be wearing like a super nice pair of shoes. So I'll be wearing something more durable like Doc Martens or some kind of like combat boot or something that will keep me warm and easy to like navigate through. Another way I love styling crop tops is with like a flannel, a button up or an overshirt. So this can be taken two ways. You can either have a cropped flannel or overshirt button up, or you can wear a crop top under a full length flannel or button up over shirt. So I love doing both. Again, this is kind of like the graphic tease for me. I actually don't have that many cropped over shirts or flannels, but those are really easy to cut yourself as well if you're looking for one and you can't find one, or just wearing like a really big oversized baggy flannel shirt over a small crop top I think is so cute and really, really easy style to do and something that I gravitate towards all the time because I feel like it's casual, it's comfortable and it's just like laid back and street style. It's very cool. I like to wear high-waisted jeans with that for the most part or sweats, biker shorts even, just anything like really comfy. Sneakers too. Okay, and then the last one I'm gonna share with you guys is a classic like jeans and a t-shirt look, but I actually like spruced it up and didn't make it that classic for this style that I'm gonna be showing you. With all of these looks, it's obvious that they can be interpreted and styled in different ways. They're kind of like overarching themes on how I style crop tops, but they can be manifested in many different variations. So for this, I'm not gonna be wearing jeans. I'm gonna be wearing jean shorts and I'm not gonna be wearing a tee. I'm gonna be wearing a tank top, but but this or that you can wear it with full length jeans and a t-shirt crop top or shorts and a tank top vice versa all of them mixed together so i feel like that this is just really classic easy styling and when you don't know what to wear i kind of just like gravitate towards jeans and a t-shirt a lot of the time so this is definitely a go-to for me it's super simple i especially like having a cropped white tee like a loose fitting one and a cropped ribbed white tee and then also a cropped ribbed tank top is really good to have around and anything like that just like with a good pair of denim whether it's shorts skirt or full-length jeans it's just such an easy timeless look and you can pair it with heels sandals boots sneakers any of those things can literally all be mixed together and just have some fun accessories good to go. All right, so that is it for this video. You guys requested this video, so I added it to my list. And if you have any more requests, I always love hearing them and I'll add them to my list as well and eventually get to them all. And I will have everything linked in the description box for you. If something's sold out, I will link something similar. And that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in my next one.